Welcome. In this video we're going to discuss the i-series iPhone OS ebook engine that we've developed at F-Space Publications. This is a little different to our R-series in that it isn't a reproduction of the printed version and we're going to look at one example which is our Pacific Settlement discussion which is here you'll see is a PDF version um, designed as a single column text document with graphic elements etc. It's only a very small publication being 12 pages. Um, it would be a suitable uh, candidate for the R series but we decided to do a uh, different version for the iPhone. Half of our reason is that we had to use it in different formats. You'll notice that this publication is actually available on the Amazon Kindle as a Moby Pocket file as well which means that we had to redo the content um, anyway, uh, it couldn't remain in a, a print reproduction form, and so we decided to take this across and do the work with Apple. And as you can tell, there's a little icon here, and it behaves quite differently. A little click on the cover brings up the next section. Now you'll notice that each section of the publication, such as you might have in uh, PDF bookmarking is provided, although there's no, it functions as the contents page in terms of navigating back and forward or using the bookmark section, depending on how you do it. So you can just click, hide and show that section, scroll through, it gives a very linear reading experience based on the screen, which is very good for a touch-based system so that you can scroll as you read which is a slightly different reading experience to page turning it means that you can keep the text that you're reading close to the screen rather than near the bottom and quickly go back and forth using touch gestures to move back and forth through content so you can show multiple sections at once you can rotate it and the text will scale to be slightly more readable um, based on a standardized width that we've established was a general reading experience for most people um, we do think that this mode is probably the better one to do it but occasionally there are times where you'd like landscape instead um, as you can tell it can support images quite well um, and it is capable of supporting things like tables and things like that. Delivering books like this requires us to go and uh, create markup right the way through it. With some applications we can export your copy in a format that's um, close to being usable in this format but we have to spend a lot of work going through and manually altering the markup. Fortunately, once you deliver content for the iPhone like this, it's very easy to go and use that to create Moby Pocket files, Amazon Kindle, and uh, EPUB, and other uh, ebook formats outside the print reproduction format that you would find with um, PDFs in most cases, or if you delivered something, say, in a Microsoft Word file. So. The other advantage with this is that hyperlinks do actually work. Um, for instance, it just brings up that website that happened to be um, linked to it, as you can tell there. So that's a example of one of um, books using this engine. And we'll quickly find one of the others so that you can see an example of this using the same method. Same thing, we've made this little quick jump so that you don't actually have to scroll, just one tap and it moves straight down to the start of it and you can obviously quickly look in here as you'll see here's the support for tables, colors and obviously you've got support for hyperlinks and things like that. So the paradigm is very similar if you like to the way a web page might work or a section um, of 
a website in total. Now we'll just quickly find another example. Now this is a slightly different example. Um, you'll notice this section here, statistic, and why we call it an i-series is because of interaction. And for instance, this being a role-playing game thing, it allows us to put directly into the ebook um, calculated um, results or other functional things. You could put video in here and a range of other things. And it still allows support through to different orientations as well and hide and show over them. So it is a good format for mixing things up, um, but depending on the format that you provide us, that this may entail more work than the R series, but gives a definite uh, better reading experience or interaction experience than some other people um, might have with other engines, such as our own R series.